hello guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video we are going to see staggered grid view in depth so let's start first head over to this pub.dev website and install this package called flutter staggered grid view go to installing copy these dependencies and head over to your project go to pubspec.yaml and paste it here and save the project once it saves it will run pub.get and this package will get installed so now let's start our demo app so for our demo app import this package flutter staggered grid view okay so now this is our app with the basic app bar so now inside our body let's take a staggered grid view staggered grid view dot count builder so as you can see here these are the required parameters okay when i hover over it you can see there are various parameters okay and the required parameters are cross axis count item builder and staggered tile build okay so we will see so axis count is the count which will show the tiles number of tiles in our app so let's see if we get a cross axis count of 2 and the item builder will have the contents in our grid view for example let's see this will be our context and index and we'll return a container okay container and what we can do is we can change the color of our container so we can see the difference so for it we can give it a color and it will based in on our index uh, so it will we'll see if it's even or odd like this then we'll have a colors dot let's say a black else it will have a colors dot let's say a deep orange okay so this will be our container and for the staggered style builder what we can do is i can simply remove it and show it what it has so as you can see it takes in the function int which will have our index and it will take a staggered tile builder okay so like this a function of let's say it will have our index and it will return staggered tile uh, let's say a dot count and dot count takes in the cross axis cell count and main axis cell count so what we can do is i'll simply remove this the so cross axis cell count should not exceed our cross axis count here as you can see if i'll give it a cross axis count of one and the main axis count of one so let's just save our app now okay so now i'll take a child center and in the center we'll take our text and for the text we'll take our index dot to string uh, let's give it some styling of text style let's increase the font size of let's say 30 and the color of colors dot white let's just save our app so as you can see we uh, have our index it is a okay so now as you can see we don't have any spacing between our tiles right so how we can do is using main access spacing let's give it a value of let's say 20 let's just save our app so as you can see for the main access spacing we have a space of 20 pixels and for the cross access spacing We'll also give it a value of 20 so now as you can see we have a spacing in between our tiles of 20 pixels so how you can give a spacing from left to right so what we can do is we can give it a padding of age inserts dot only and from left let's say it is a 20 and from right from right will give it a value of 20 let's add const and now save our app 
so as you can see now our staggered grid view has a padding from left to right of 20 pixels okay so this is the basics so now what what we will see is staggered tile dot count so if we give it a value of 2 it will cover all the space as we have the cross axis count of 2 okay so see let's just save our, our app so it take the whole space that is our cross axis count space of 2 of 2 so we are having such type of view what if this will this value will show it also takes a double value so like this you can give it a double value of 1.5 as you can see this will decide our vertical space okay so what we can do is we'll keep it to 1 okay so now as you have seen 1 and 1 is to 2 so this is how the staggered grid view will look so the basic example in here we will see that we will have a different height to different index so how we can give it is we will use here we have the index here so we will use index dot if it's let's say if it's odd what we can do is we'll give it a value of 1.5 else we'll give it a value of 2.4 and let's just save our app okay so now as you can see here we have a different type of view for our grid so as you can see index one two three for even it has a different height and for odd it has a different height so this is how the staggered tile dot count works so what if you want to give the fixed height according to your container as you see here i'll give it a height to our container let's say a 200 i'll save our app but nothing changes here right so how you can give the height to our based on our container so what we can do is we can simply remove this dot count and we'll give a staggered tile dot fit property and we'll have the cross axis count of 2 as we have the cross axis count of 2 so let's just save our app okay so now as you can see we have a height of 200 that is the height of our container let's just change it to let's say a 300 so as you can see now we have a height of 300 for our app so this is how this thing works if you want to have a different type of height what we can do is we can use simply same logic as the color using our index like let's say it is even or odd else we can give it a value of 300 okay so now as you can see for the odd numbers we have a different height that is the height of 300 and for the even and for the odd is 100 and for the even is 300 okay so let's change the fit property to one so here we go you have a different height according to our container like if it's even will have a height of 300 else if it is height of 100 okay so this is how you can use staggered grid view we can use main axis spacing cross axis spacing padding cross axis count item builder so these are the basics of staggered grid view in flutter hope you found this video helpful do like share subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video